In this video, I want to show you a video editing using lanes in Reaper 7. So a project in front of me here with four video files and some music to go with it. Let's see what we have. Here's the first file. Here's the second. Here's the third. And here's the fourth. They're all variations on the same theme, but I want to edit them together to create one final video with pieces of each. So we could do this by splitting the items and just putting the pieces all on one track. But in Reaper 7, we now have lanes. So we could do this a bit quicker and even a bit more fun using those lanes. So let's take a look. We'll start by selecting all the video files. Then we'll go up here to the Actions menu, Show Action List, and type into the filter Implode. And there's an action right here to implode selected items across tracks to one fixed lane. Let's choose this. Now I'll put those video files all on one track in separate lanes. So we could delete these tracks. Let's make this bigger so we could see it better. So now we can right click over here and go down here and choose Comping. Comp into new empty lane. Now we have one lane at the top we can comp into. We can create a comp area. Notice how the cursor changes, letting us know we're comping in this mode. Let's draw from here to here. And now we chose lane one. Or lane two. And we can switch these just by clicking on each one or hitting the T key. Hit T to switch to lane one, two, three, and four, which will switch to each video file. So it's a quick way of choosing which file to be using at that point, which is even more useful if you're dealing with a multi camera shoot where you want to jump to a close up or more distant shot or any other shot you were using. And we can tweak where it switches right over here. So just go through drawing areas where we want to switch to each file. And try out different ones. In each section. We could also do this based on the timing of our music. Let's start over by drawing like this, go to the beginning, and just pause it at each section we want to switch. I want to start a bit late, right here, move it to this spot, and then it turns on right here. Then we could switch right here by drawing another comp area. Another one over here. It doesn't matter which one we choose, as we can always change it later. Put one here. Another one here. Move this over to here. Another one here. And then finally, we'll just go to this one. And now it looks like this. And if we want to tweak where it switches, we can go up here, hold on the shift key, and just move it. And notice the line that goes from the top to the bottom, so we could line up where the downbeat is. And if we wanted to add some crossfades, we could do that 
by adding a plugin. Because by default, Reaper doesn't crossfade our video. Even if we do it right here, see the crossfade? We're not going to see our video files crossfade. Unless we go to the effects on this track. Let's choose the video processor and choose the preset item fades affect video. And now the crossfades will work right here. Let's make it a bit longer. Now we see the crossfades. Put another one over here. And let's watch it from the beginning. Again, we could switch our lanes just by clicking in a different area or hitting the T key. And we're done and happy with this. We can go over here and right click and disable lanes and hide the non playing lanes, which will leave us with just the pieces we chose that can't accidentally be switched to different lanes. We could always go back and change it, re enable lanes, and re edit them again. And just like that, we created a final video by editing that video using lanes. So that's pretty much it. That's video editing using lanes in Reaper 7. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.